Hey there, everybody. My name is Corey Jones. I'm with Compassion Works for All here in Little Rock. Uh, it's great to be with you again. And uh, just, just for a pause in our day to take a moment to breathe, to check in, to be present. Um, I, I want to share just a couple of thoughts before we get into our meditation time. Uh, I, I looked at the start of the month. Today is October the 4th um, as of this recording. And so I'm, I was looking over my calendar for this month. Um, it's the first Monday of the month, and I was looking at everything that's coming up, and, and it just, it's jam-packed. My October is absolutely jam-packed, and with good things and things that I'm really excited about, but it, I, I keep looking for a place where I get to kind of come up for air and, and catch my breath a little, and it's just not there. It doesn't exist, um, but nevertheless, I'm excited about this month and all that there is, um, but uh, one of the challenges with mindfulness and especially with pausing for a time of meditation is our busy schedule. What do we do? How do we practice whenever it feels like there is not even a moment to, to just sit and breathe? Um, and, and sometimes the answer or the, the automatic answer will be something like, um, well, uh, before you go to bed at night, uh, just pause. Well, you might be completely exhausted or maybe wake up a little bit earlier. That might be a terrible idea, too, because you might need as much sleep as possible when you're in a busy season. Um, so what do you do? The, uh, uh, some other options, rather than adding on time to the beginning or the end of your day, is to intentionally schedule it. Um, and so I, I have a little to-do list that I write out every morning in my notebook. Um, of what I need to accomplish throughout the day. And I always put meditate on that list. And so it's something that I know I'm going to make time to do at some point during my day. And then I'm going to mark it off once it's done. Um, but also it's about just being present. Um, remember meditation, the goal of meditation is not to meditate. The goal of meditation is to become more mindful throughout our day. So even on the days where maybe we don't have time to sit on a cushion or to sit in a chair or to sit and watch a video like this, even if we don't have time, we can still be present where we are. This is the point of it anyway. So uh, the, the term that gets used a lot, especially in the, uh, the Eastern religious traditions um, and in the mindfulness tradition is monkey mind, that our mind is going 100 miles an hour in a whole bunch of different ways or we know that lots of things are coming up on our plate and so our mind's going into the future to, to start thinking and planning and, and uh, preparing for that. So how do we keep our monkey mind uh, still? How do we keep it focused on the present, especially on the days where we feel like we might not have time for, uh, for sitting and meditating? Um, the best thing we can do for the monkey mind, the best thing we can do to be present is to find our breath. That's, that's one of, if not the absolute best tools that we have at our disposal to just breathe. Um, no matter how busy your schedule gets, you have to breathe. You absolutely cannot stop. Uh, I mean, I guess you can, but it's not gonna go well. So you are constantly breathing no matter what. Check in with your breath. Um, even if you don't call it meditation, just checking in with your inhale and your exhale a couple of times throughout the day. That's a moment of centering and of, of repositioning your mind into the present moment. The other one is check in with your body. Notice if you're carrying tension. Even if, it's a, even if you're busy with things that you enjoy and things that you like to do, you might still be feeling the tension and the stress and the pressure of getting it all done. So check in, where are your shoulders? Is your jaw clenched? Are you feeling some kind of ache or pain uh, or fatigue in your body somewhere? And if so, maybe take just a second to breathe into that. Um, if you are busy with lots of conversations or with lots of meetings, make sure that your mind is there in the conversation and in the meeting. Even if you're bored out of your mind and you're thinking this could have been an email and we could all be done by now, um, nevertheless, listen. Understand the person from their perspective. Check in with your breath. Check in with your body. Notice what's happening with everyone else while you're in the meeting, be present. So even on the days where you're not able to sit and have actual meditation time, you can still allow yourself to be mindful and to be present, uh, to give that monkey mind a task, give the monkey in your mind a task to do, to breathe, to check in with your body, to check in with the other people around you. Um, so anyway, I don't know if your October is shaking, shaping up like mine, if it's a, a busy or if it's stressful or, or what, uh, maybe it's really peaceful and you just get to enjoy the cool 
cooling temperatures in the fall season. But regardless, I hope that, um, that it's not just meditation for the sake of meditation's sake, but that you are practicing meditation so that you can be more mindful throughout your day, especially the busier you get. So that's my spiel for today. And we will dive in now to our meditation time. So I invite you into a mindful posture. And we're going to begin with three bells. You can keep your eyes opened or closed, really just whatever is most comfortable for you. Let your shoulders relax. Unclench your jaw. Let your belly be soft. Sometimes we try to keep ourselves rigid or tensed up in our midsection and just let everything be soft. Let your hands just fold gently in your lap in whatever way is comfortable for you. With your feet flat on the floor, just notice how it feels to make contact with the ground. And whatever is happening around you right now, we're just going to let it happen. So if there are distracting noises or sounds, if the temperature of the room isn't exactly comfortable, if you know there are things that need to be done that you feel this anxiety or this stress to jump up and take care of, we're just going to let it all be right now as it is. And as much as you can, try not to be an observer of what's going on, but see yourself as a participant. You are a participant in the room where you're sitting right now. You are part of the present experience. Just as there are sounds and movement, and other things going on, you are part of all that. And so the various things that you notice with your senses, the, the sensory input you're taking in, the temperature of the room, sounds, smells, things that you can see. As you're gathering this sensory input, rather than just naming it or observing it, recognize that you are part of it and see yourself in the context of the present.
just like a tree grows up out of the ground, you are growing up out of the present moment. And if you sense that your mind is starting to wander, you don't have to get upset about this or struggle. You don't have to beat yourself up that you're not doing it right or you're wasting this precious time. You can just very gently bring your mind back into the present. Just as your body is here in the present, so is your mind. If you find that the monkey is just too active today inside your mind, it's running all over the place and bringing up all kinds of thoughts and feelings and emotions. Again, it's okay. We're not going to beat ourselves up. We're not going to get angry at our mind for being a mind. We're going to give the monkey in our mind a task to do, to occupy its focus, to take control of the focus. So bring your attention now to your breath. Gently inhaling and gently exhaling through the nose. Take care that you don't just breathe in the upper part of your abdomen, that you're not pulling your shoulders up when you breathe, but you're letting your lower belly expand out on every in-breath and retract back in on every out-breath. So your shoulders and your upper torso are staying perfectly still. And your belly and the central grounded part of your body is the one drawing the air in and breathing the air out. And as you continue to breathe this way, maintain your mindful posture. And if you notice your mind start to wander, gently bring it back. Be in the present moment. Our minds tend to drift either into the past or into the future. So we're just going to train our mind here in the present to let it rest gently and effortlessly here. Continue to keep your attention on your breath.
take just a moment now to check in with your mind. Notice where it is. Is it present or has it drifted away? If it's drifted away, just gently bring it back. Return to focus on your breath. And as we often say, if you're finding it difficult to maintain present awareness by focusing on your breath, you can tell yourself what you're doing. So on your inhale, you can gently say in your mind, I know I am breathing in. And on your exhale, you can gently say in your mind, I know I am breathing out. I know I am breathing in. I know I am breathing out. Awareness of the inhale and awareness of the exhale are the two foundational practices in being present. So if that's helpful for you, let's practice that for a few moments. On the inhale, say in your mind, I know I am breathing in. And on the exhale, say in your mind, I know I am breathing out. And don't do any more than that. Effortlessly inhale effortlessly exhale, fully conscious of the present moment. I know I am breathing in, and I know I am breathing out. When your mind begins to drift, just gently bring it back. Maintain your mindful posture. Put your attention, your awareness on your breath. Let's do this together for just a few more moments. I know I am breathing in. And I know I am breathing out. And as we come to the end of our time together, 
begin to cultivate and generate a positive feeling. Whatever name you would give that, happiness, love, kindness, compassion, whatever you would like to feel right now, generate that within you. Stir it up from deep in your belly. And let it begin to well up. Sometimes it helps to smile a bit as we continue to breathe and be present. We're filtering our present awareness through this positive feeling. That even though sometimes the present can be overwhelming or stressful or frustrating, this good feeling is right there. Just as our awareness is always here with us, so is this ability to tap into happiness, to tap into compassion, to tap into kindness. So we don't just have to be present enduring what's happening. We can be present and full of joy at the same time. begin to take your final in breath, your final out breath of our time together. You check in again with your body, you can wiggle your toes a little, maybe move around in your seat just a bit. And with joyful awareness, take one last deep inhale and breathe it out. I, uh, I hope that that was helpful for you. And uh, especially on those days where maybe we feel like we're so busy, we can't possibly be present. We always have our breath to tap into. We always have our body to tap into. We always have something occurring in the present moment that we can be uh, fully engaged with and, and present for. So uh, I, I hope that gives you something to take with you um, as we move into our week. So have a great day, everybody.